My name is Emily. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a quick little wedding update video. Um, I started this series a couple weeks ago and I know that I haven't really posted anything else about it since so I'm probably the worst but I'm sorry. It's honestly because the last two or three weeks I haven't really done anything for the wedding just because it's far enough in advance that I have the time to not be rushed. So one thing I did do on Monday morning I realized that my receipt for my wedding dress said that it was ordered in a size 8 and I was freaking out because I know that I signed off on a size 4. I was told I was between a size 2 or a 4 but I told her like I still wanted time to like grow the booty and grow those muscles so we went with a size 4 and I know that I signed off on that so I was freaking out that it was a size 8. Um, so I called the wedding dress place in Nashville and got that all squared out. She said it was totally misprinted on the receipt that she definitely ordered me a size 4 so that was awesome. The other thing that I did was research and contact a few videographers. Um, you know the videographer for Kyle and I has been something that we've been like putting on the back burner for now but I've recently really decided that if you're spending all that money on your wedding you're gonna want to have something to look back on. There's nothing like having that video and I've heard that a lot of brides who don't get the video end up having remorse that they didn't get the video so there's that I decided that I wanted a video so I asked my coworker. um he just got married a couple months ago I asked him his suggestions and he sent me the guy who did his wedding pro wedding tip number one shop around for prices because you can always get something cheaper I looked on this guy's website that he referred me to it said we only offer one price four thousand dollars and I was like okay I'm not made of money here <laughs> uh no so I figured might as well just be ballsy I emailed him I was like hey you just did my coworker Chris's wedding he said he paid about 2700 just wondering what your prices are whatever I just played dumb he came back at me he's like hey I can give you a discount if you decide to pay in cash so I asked Kyle we were like yeah We'll pay in cash, sure. So here I am thinking that I will get like close to 2700 He emails me back today and he's like, Hey Emily, so we can get your $4,000 package down to 3600 And I'm like, Ugh, sorry. Um, unfortunately, we are not willing to spend that much. Thanks for your time. Um, so that's annoying. I still have a list of probably four or five others that I want to contact. Um, I'll do that tomorrow and the other major thing that I did was I've signed and sent back the contract for my DJ which I've lucked out with because my dad's a wedding DJ and he has a guy who does like who did my sister's wedding and my cousin's wedding a friend of his that I've known for a long time he's giving us a major discount so yeah we're getting the DJ for under a thousand dollars which is that's basically it. That's all I've done for the wedding this week. Um, other than I'm trying to look into places to get my engagement pictures done. Have a list going of those. I don't know where I'm going to end up choosing, um, but hopefully I can get that squared away soon. Other than that, you know me. I just got to digest and go to the gym and that's it. If you guys want to see more videos of me planning my rustic wedding, please like the video down below, subscribe, hit that little notification bell, then you'll get notified every time I post, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!